It's the first snow day of the year for school bus drivers where I live, but it's not really snow. It looks like this. Welcome to Miss Hood's School Bus Life. This morning when I got up, I thought I have got to show my YouTube viewers what it looks like here. We have a half an inch of ice on everything. Ice is beautiful, but it is so scary. Every step I take, I have to be careful. this might happen when I watch the weather on Wednesday. The southern part of Indiana got about a, up to a tenth of an inch of ice and then the sleet on top. Most of Metro Louisville is probably going to come in between around two tenths and around a quarter of an inch of ice. You're a school bus driver. You know what it's like when you hear those weather reports and you don't know if they're going to ask you to drive your bus or if they're going to ask you to stay home. The ice is going nowhere over the next seven days. So tonight it's 23 degrees. It is cold enough that anything out there that is wet will be frozen. It will not be wet tomorrow morning. Everything is icy. We're at a 70% chance tonight and those roads tomorrow morning will likely be treacherous. Trust me, there are no school buses moving on that ice today. I, I got a tweet a little bit ago. It was probably about two hours ago and somebody said, I just saw lightning. And I said back, you didn't see lightning. You saw power lines exploding and that. Power lines exploding? You know, numerous reports around the area of, again, what people believe is lightning, but are those power lines exploding? Ice is bad on power lines. So what do I do if my electricity goes out? Please, Lord, please don't let the electricity go out. These numbers are indeed enough to cause power outages. Those that get on the higher side of this would have widespread power outages. There will be tree damage in our area. The ice is so heavy when the wind starts blowing, it can break those limbs. When I watch those tree branches waving in the wind, I am praying, Lord, please keep those trees strong. That poor tree. Look at its limbs all the way to the ground. I felt a little guilty on Wednesday night when I watched that weather report. And then I watched Thursday. The reason we're gonna continue with the winter weather advisory, the winter storm warning and the ice storm warning is because there's so much to remove. Now, I don't mind snow. I can drive in snow. I know how to be careful in snow but I hate ice. Radcliffe, six tenths of an inch of freezing rain. That's the rain that comes down, freezes up on contact and creates the icicles. Sleep are the ice pellets that bounce around. This and it's everywhere.
my first thought is always of my bus driver buddies. Frozen buses. Those windshield wipers, they are frozen solid to those school buses. Now, I know what you're thinking, why don't we have heated windshields? We don't need that in Kentucky. I can't tell you the last time we had an ice storm. All right, good luck today. It's gonna to take some time and not just one or two handfuls of salt will get rid of some of this uh, chunky ice. And you're gonna to have to do it multiple times and then work with it uh, to get that driveway clear. I went out to get my mail and my next door neighbor is trying to get everything off of her car. And so she's chipping away and she gets inside and turns the car on and gets the heaters going and the defrost and everything. And as the car warms up, it is melting the ice off of it. It's running down the side of the car and it's so cold outside. The minute it hits the pavement, it freezes. Her windshield wipers are embedded in solid ice. She finally gets done, gets in her car, backs out of the parking lot and pulls away. And this is what I saw. The UPS driver was delivering packages and I said, hey, have you ever seen an icicle stalagmite? And he comes over and he looks at it and he said, that's crazy. Now, everybody else's car is covered in ice and icicles, but not my baby. She's all cozy warm in her garage and spoiled rotten. I spend $6,000 for her to have her own little cozy place. She just rolled her headlights at me and I knew what she was thinking. Well, this wasn't the only reason why I spent $6,000. The next day, I know I have to get out and get to the grocery store and do whatever I need to do because another storm is coming on Sunday night. So I am driving down this road that my grandchildren love driving down this road. They call it the broccoli forest. And I looked up and I thought, this looks like the frozen broccoli forest. I couldn't pass up that beautiful view when I got to the hilltop. And if you look really closely, you might be able to see the outline of my city far off on the left side in the background. That car, they just threw snow. Oh gosh, it is all over that car. Look, I don't know what they did when they plowed, but it's, it's on the poles. That's pretty bad. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. It's on both sides of the road. It's bad. If that were my car, I'd be so mad. I was so happy to get home. I really hate this kind of weather. And I thought, what I need is something to make me feel better. I'm so glad I bought Krispy Kreme at the grocery store before the storm. I have subscribers and viewers all over the country 
So I'm sure that there are places in the country where you guys go ahead and drive through this. Coming up in the seven day, we focus on our next big ticket item here. Polar vortex keeps the Arctic air in, a big storm coming out of Texas. If they gel perfectly, we're in trouble. It did, and we are. I believe we have five and a half inches of snow. It filled up my grow boxes. This is not normal for Kentucky. It's very rare that we have this kind of snow stick around for this long. Snow, it's so much better than ice. When will Miss Hood see the wheels on the bus go round and round again? <sighs> the next forecast is calling for more snow on Wednesday night. So looking around our area, I've got one to three for Seymour, Paoli, through North Vernon, Madison. I'm going to include Clarksville, Jeffersonville, New Albany. I'm going to look back on this in the summer when I'm growing plants in those grow boxes. The question is, am I ever going to get them stored in my garage? So we talked about this last week that there were three storms. There was the ice storm, there was the Monday storm system, and then there was the Wednesday, Thursday system. So now we're into storm system number three. What to expect on this one? If you're like so many of us, you're like, blah, 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 50, 52, 50, yeah. It's the first snow day in Miss Hood's retired school bus life. Stay warm, stay safe.